guys, Chris and I are out kind of uh, harvesting a couple of pieces of birch. And uh, I'm just going to show you some of the differences in birches. This is a yellow birch. And you can pretty much see why it gets its name. Because, yeah, it's kind of yellow. And uh, if you're still not sure, you can actually kind of come up here, break off one of the... Uh, little stems and it'll kind of smell like Pepto-Bismol when you break this off. If you break this off we have this back home in Tennessee and they use it a lot for a, like a toothbrush just kind of chew the end up a little bit on it and brush your teeth with it. It has a minty flavor and this is the leaf structure of the yellow birch Now let's compare that. Let's go look at a white. There's another yellow. Another yellow birch. This is a paper birch or a white birch. This stuff peels off very nice and easily. Uh, used for all kinds of good things. And the white stuff that's on it, you can actually use that as kind of a sunscreen in a survival situation. You just kind of rub it on your hands. Uh, rub it on your skin that's exposed and you can see it gives it kind of a little bit of protection now this stuff peels very easily if you want uh, to use this stuff for sheets you pretty much just make a cut down and you don't want to get down too deep into this you can see I've got some already kind of harvested off you can see it's not not very thick these are young trees you can get a little thicker on a bigger tree but you want to get down to this layer. Any deeper than that, you're going to hurt the tree. So you don't want to do that. This stuff makes excellent fire starter. Uh, all kinds of crazy things you can make this. Shelters, canoes, um, shingles, sheaths, bowls, uh, shoe bottoms. There's just tons and tons of stuff you can do with this white birch. Now the white birch leaf, if I can get up to it, very similar to the yellow birch leaf. Let's see if I can find a young one around. It's got some leaves down at the bottom. This is yellow. You can see it peels a lot differently than the paper birch. But, like I say, this is Maine. So it's more birch. You can see some of this stand back in here. There's my buddy over there. Hey, say hi Chris. Hi Chris. And paper birch. I wish we had this back in Tennessee. It's an awesome awesome resource. I'm super jealous you know that it's up here and not back home. So uh, I'm like really bummed out. Here's something else that's kind of cool. Is these uh, tender fungus, this horse hoof fungus? Let's see, makes it really good when this dries out. It's really good for a fire starter. And uh, Jimmy was saying it makes a really good strop. So uh, we'll harvest up a few of these, take them back. But you can see, and now this is on a dead birch plenty of them growing here so we'll take a few uh, one good thing about birch is you also can find chaga and Jimmy Kane here spotted some good chaga so we're gonna talk about it a little bit this this is chaga let me get zoomed in here we're going to knock a little bit of it down because uh, we're going to consume it while we're here. So uh, go ahead and knock some of it off of there if you want to and we'll look at so it. This branch is already here so we're going to use what... Woohoo! Here you go, throw it up this way. No, I won't keep it. 
No, you can keep it. Yeah, I got plenty. Well, I can't. I'm a, I can't haul it. That's black place. gold. Yeah. This is chaga, guys. Good for teas. Has a lot of B vitamins. Supposed to give you a little bit of energy. It's got the highest concentration of antioxidants in nature. Yep. Highest concentration of a antioxidants. Lot of, a lot of herbalists think that it's anti-cancer. And I've been making a chaga decoction coffee raw and drink. And I think it's uh, comparable to monster. This is on a uh, paper birch tree, so uh, that's where you find it, paper birch. Living paper birch. Yep, a living paper birch. You can see it's a, made a pretty good size hole in the, in the tree. Time of pops right off. Nah, it's froze. 